Let's shift our focus to more developments and this one is of course surely going to lift country's head in pride because the country is geared up for its third lunar exploration mission. Indian uh, Space Research Organization has announced the date for the historic launch of Chandrayaan-3. India's moon mission will lift off on July 14th, that, uh, that is next Friday at around 2.25 in the afternoon when the LVM-3, ISRO's new heavy lift uh, launch vehicle, will take off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. Now, ISRO Chief uh, S. Somanath has said that Chandrayaan-3 is equipped with special sensors and laser uh, Doppler velocity meter to monitor its speed throughout the journey. And in March this year, the spacecraft successfully completed the essential test that validated its capability to withstand the harsh vibration and environment that it would face during its launch. ISRO Chairman spoke exclusively with Times. Now, over the same, listen in. The launch dates of Chandrayaan-3 has been announced and joining with me is ISRO chairman right now with me. Sir, how is Chandrayaan-3 is different from Chandra, uh, Chandrayaan-2, 3 is different from Chandrayaan-2 and importantly, what is the mission of Chandrayaan-3? What is important in this? Uh... The mission objective of Chandrayaan-3 and 2 are one and the same, to achieve soft landing on the moon and then do the experiments which are being destined to do. So last time we could miss the soft landing, so the experiments could not be done. So our goal this time is let the experiments be done. And that can be achieved only if you soft land. Mm -hmm. So that's the purpose. Yeah. So, but uh, this time you're changing the swell location of the landing, 70 meters. You just explained south of South Pole. You know, it is same same location. Last time also we went to the same mm -hmm. near to the same place. So rover last time is the same which you're using Vikram or this different? This time different. You know, it is a new hardware. The one which you sent is already on the moon. Yeah. So this is a new hardware, but it's exactly the same. Have you kept the same name or which what name you kept the rover? We call it rover. You yeah. can call it Vikram. <laughs> yeah. So there is now a naming ceremony for it. Yeah. So last time we saw very emotional, you know, moments between Prime Minister and then ISRO Chairman. Have you invited the Prime Minister this time? See, my job as, uh, as I am reporting to Honourable Prime Minister, and he has keen interest on it. I hope that he will take the decision to come and see watch. So just uh, what uh, one last question, sir, before I let you go. When will be the launch and when will be the landing? Launch is now currently scheduled based on the work progress on 14th. Uh, so you have further days to go and landing if it happens on 14th and everything goes nominally it could be on possibly on 23rd of August otherwise that also can shift so one last question sir when will be the ISRO's landing man on the moon when is that pro program schedule that is uh, I, I have no answers for it at this moment we are developing capability for humans to fly to near earth orbit right now under the Gaganyan program and once you create that capability and continuously we send human beings to space you will tell me that you why don't you take it to moon at that time I will we will consider that possibility but uh, everything is a possibility so we work on the capacity building at this moment so all eyes will be on the launch uh, which is going to happen soon but also remember in September 2019 Chandrayaan 2 deviated from its intended trajectory while landing on the moon due to a software glitch and the rover Vikram lander's guiding software malfunctioned and the lander crashed on the moon's surface. The new and improved version of the new moon mission aims to repurpose the orbiter of Chandrayaan 2 and it will aim to have a stable landing on the moon. We'll keep tracking all the developments. Uh, time for a quick break.